Alright guys, I just want to show you today uh, part 2 of charging the batteries using the 240 and the 120. So, I uh, just want to do a follow up. So, um, I drained this battery all the way to 30, 34% state of charge. You were seeing at 28.8, so they're still good. 28.8 divided by 4, that will give you the percentage. So guys, it just means that it's 139 uh, amps is putting back to the battery. This is the 120, the 120 regulated to only 8 amps from the uh, outlet and it's charging and it's just putting this number is about 51 amps so subtract 51 by 51 by 139 so you see what the 240 is bringing in so it's pushing that was like 140 something 45 before I grabbed the camera and uh, this is the state of charge we seen that was uh, was below 30 yeah, it was 35 34 35 percent and now we're going up so I just want to show you how the 240 is running the 240 the guy right there it's running the 240 120 here charging the battery simultaneously and uh, this is what it is right now it's kind of slowing down a little bit it was pushing 142 very close to 150 amps so here in the batteries so what I've realized guys uh, the batteries <clears throat> works really well when you 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 deplete them bring them down not completely zero but when you bring them down and you, you, you energize them, exercise the power from there, you charge them, they, they run for a long time. So since um, doing a test, which I, I, I didn't even show you guys the videos, but uh, I was just doing experiments in this uh, Volkswagen e-Golf made by Sanyo. And they were holding up pretty well. Uh, we're running on this 8.544 kilowatt. We're running approximately three days consecutively uh, without a charge. So I've been trying that two and a half to three days. Today is like three days. We pull about 200 amps from the battery. This of 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 8.544 kilowatt is just a 300 amp power battery bank, a uh, power wall. So you see, we are now uh, almost 11 percent down. We were at um, 200 even, 200 amp hours when I decided to flip the switch because I'm trying some experiments here before showing you guys. And uh, you see, we took about 200, but we're now dropping down. So I'm not going to do all the way. Uh, and I let, uh, we, we have a bad weather today. The sun wasn't there. It comes partially, but... You guys can see, but nothing. I didn't use it, but we're just experimenting this. See how far we can go, energize the cells, and try to recharge them again as we go. So, um, I just want to give a part two of that video I made. How you charge your um, batteries with two inverters uh, in a separate uh, voltage, 240 and 120 simultaneously so this is what I've been doing here we brought the battery to to 38 you know um, to be honest with you the state of charge is something on AGM and silicon acid or um, uh, gel batteries not on lithiums as I speak you can see the state of charge fall but the voltage is still there but don't let that fool you if it was a Nissan Leaf, they would have dropped so fast and just run down and shut down. I was trying to see, do a comparison with a Nissan Leaf with these ones. But these batteries don't even fall all the way down because 
they they were still going but i decided to do this uh, at night and see how far I, um, these batteries can go so we pulled the last time we pulled about uh 100 and i think we pulled about 150 or 180 180 amps so we went way further today to 200 amps so we only have a reserve capacity of 100 amp amp left on a 300 amp battery bank on a 24 volt at a 8.544 kilowatts Sanyo lithium battery power wall right here Volkswagen e-golf so eight batteries four in parallel four in parallel series that's what I did and they were just working fantastic so I just want to show you guys and you can use your inverters in different voltages uh, 240 or 120 or you can do 240 240 even whatever you want to do but uh, that helps if you have a generator if you have a other source of charging the batteries you don't want to charge on a 240 or your generator is too small and you cannot even able to put a lot of power then you can set one inverter just to run like those little Honda uh, uh, 2000 EU so that they can able to do the charge you know or else you can use a bigger generator but you can able to uh, regulate your generator according to the voltage from 80 on, uh, from 80 to 120 the, the generator can take that but just the output the out, out, output amps charge in the batteries sometimes it takes longer okay instead of tying to the 240 then your generator is just a 120 then you have a you have an issue right there so this is just a matter of prioritizing how you can able to charge your batteries and this lithium battery sir uh, respectively at 120 volt with a little uh, smaller generators or maybe two small generators or you can have a big one that doesn't able to pump more power into it but you can use two generators simultaneously on the 240 and other 120 so you can double up the amps and charge up the batteries I hope you like this video because um, uh, quite a, uh, I, don't, I haven't seen that out there which um, uh, we end up I end up doing something like this and I suppose uh, some people find that kind of a little interesting so yeah if you think you want to do something like this uh, well I've done it and it works and I hope um, you like the video like and subscribe